Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. 90 Day The Last Resort may be a one-off 90 Day Fiancé spin-off that won't return like others. The spin-off premiered in mid-August 2023 and hooked many fans with its intriguing premise. It featured numerous popular pairs trying to fix their relationships for one last time. Unlike other spin-offs where the endgame is marriage, 90 Day, The Last Resort Season 1 proposed a more drastic conclusion. It promised the viewers would see the pairs fight for their relationship and would either work things out or break up for good. Some of the wildest revelations on 90 Day, The Last Resort occurred in the first few episodes. The show allowed Kalani Fagata to share how Azulu Pula had cheated on her, Kelly Brown to explain why he no longer loves Molly Hopkins, and Yara Zaya to disclose why she had been taking birth control behind Jovi Dufresne's back. Apart from some bombshell reveals, the spin-off delved into cast members and their time at the resort. It showed Angela Deem getting mad at her co-stars, Big Ed trying to be funny, and Jovi planning to go to a strip club. Like other spin-offs, 90 Day, The Last Resort did what it promised. It showed cast members sharing their issues and making a decision about their relationships. According to a Reddit thread by Fashion Pixies, many viewers still got tired of 90 Day, The Last Resort's concept with every passing week. The spin-off was expected to be more therapy-focused. However, the show felt more like a mini-reunion, and the cast members acted like they were out on vacation. Fans wanted to see real therapy and counseling sessions, delving deep into real relationship issues. However, they were unimpressed by the show's predictable nature. Another thing that hurt 90 Day, the last resort was the cast members and their social media actions. Unlike other spin-offs where it's difficult to determine if the pairs have made it down the aisle, the news spin-off's outcomes were pretty evident. Fans learned that Molly and Kelly had broken up months before they appeared on the show. The two had unfollowed each other for some time and were involved in a legal situation. Yara and Jovi, Ed and Liz, and others were posting lovey-dovey content on Instagram. It was clear they wouldn't break up. According to a Reddit thread by Lily267, 90 Day, the last resort also turned off many fans by showcasing some explicit things in every other episode. From Ed flashing his privates to Angela flashing hers, the show was full of vulgarities that made many cringe. There was nothing retreat-like about the therapy sessions, and there was no restriction on alcohol. Their sex lives were a common theme in the spin-off, which made many episodes uncomfortable to watch. Not many 90 Day. The Last Resort fans wanted to see Ed and Liz practice Kama Sutra in public or Angela sharing intimate moments with Michael on the phone.